Hello everyone, this is your boy AZNZC. Today I'm going to go over some of the progress I made. Uh, currently level 37. I am right now rank 16 in arena. Um, and some of the progress I made, uh, I got Spitfire the other day from the compensation scroll. Um, got, got 5 piece, so finally was able to get this OP unit. Um, currently working on getting a plus two. All I'm doing is requesting uh, guildies for um, for pieces, and I use every only gems I have um, to make to make it plus one. Um, I did some of the EXP dungeons, um, and there was a lot of Reddit uh, thread regarding to that. It is pretty bad per EXP slash. Um, this energy uh, what's called ratio so highly recommend not doing those um, with the recent patch note um, where Wham Show and Boomer got nerfed uh, I think those nerf wasn't too bad um, I think they are more mana efficient for the um, for the uh, PVE aspect and they deserve a nerf I think uh, because two mana for AFE bomb is pretty OP, and um, a lot. I see a lot of people still using Whirlwind. Um, for me, I see Whirlwind in arena and some dungeons. Um, people that are streaming it. I, my personal opinion is that it's literally not good in arena. Um, it might have some use in PVE. But I would highly recommend not using it in arena at all because it's pretty much food. When um when I see that it's charging and it's trying to get off the heel, all you have to do is if you see it on the Q for for it taking a turn, I literally could just snipe that uh, what's called charge skill and the heal skill before before you get the heal off. And even if you heal, you will not be able to heal your uh, out heal the damage that you're receiving from like kabooms and Stormblade and all these AFE monsters so don't bring it into arena um, I would recommend people using their gold sparingly um, I've been using my gold to upgrade uh, 6 star runes and to upgrade my building as you can see my build, my gold collecting buildings are plus 5 I mean level 5, level 5 and level 4 and the energy buildings plus 2 I mean level 2 Gem is also a uh, magic collector is also two, so highly recommend doing those. Um, when you're using runes, um, if you're doing runes, I highly recommend doing the sets. The sets bonus is too strong early game, so highly recommend sticking with the strike set, even if it's a four star versus a broken, a broken uh, set of runes. Because 25% of your base attack is pretty substantial, and for you to overcome that in comp in uh, runes, in rune subs and um, and in base stats, that's that's pretty detrimental. I mean, it's pretty hard to overcome. So stick with sets um, if you can. Um, do your um, do your boss daily, your daily bosses for every level. I know it might sound tedious, but these pieces only reset once per day. And eventually you're gonna have to build those units. So highly recommend doing those. And then progression wise, uh, I would highly recommend farming B7 with two units, such as Kaboom, Stormblade, and any of those two uh, mana spender with a Enigma. Those are the optimal stuff. Um, and then I will switch between doing B7 and farming for shards in scenario like YM Shell and Boomer alternating between the two because one, once you get rune drops you're gonna need gold to power them up so that's it for today uh, hopefully this information is really helpful if you guys uh, think this is helpful give it a thumbs like or subscribe below um, the next video I'm gonna go over some of the runes uh, optimization so look forward to that Thank you and peace.